Stay tuned after this brief message from Airbus Helicopters. The offshore oil and gas sector is just about the toughest workplace on earth for any helicopter. And even aircraft like this AW189, which is purposely built for just that sort of mission, is going to face all sorts of hazards in that working environment. And that's exactly why, back in 2014, a group of industry companies got together to form an organization called Heli Offshore. On the assumption that they collaborated and worked together, they'd have a better shot of confronting and coming up with workable solutions to all the main safety challenges in the industry. I'm happy to say there's been a big conversation across the industry about the top priorities for safety and we've homed in on a safety strategy that we've all agreed on and the top issues are things like system reliability and resilience, operational effectiveness including avoiding loss of control and avoiding obstacles. So I'm really happy to say that we've reviewed the accident data that's come out of regulators and other sources. We've got expert opinion from across the industry and that's helped us to align around a common strategy. Now automation is very clearly a growing technological trend in the helicopter field. It presents very, very real opportunities and advantages. But at the same time, it actually does pose some safety challenges. And this is one of the top priorities for Heli Offshore at the moment. It's almost like you could consider the automation as another crew member in the cockpit. And it's important for the pilot to understand what's the automation doing? What is it good at? What is it not so good at? In order that they can achieve an effective partnership. And I'm happy to say that the OEMs have produced flight crew operations manuals. And these help to describe what was the designer thinking about how the pilot should fly the plane. And then we get the pilots involved in the conversation and we can start to really ensure we've got that effective partnership going. And right across the board, Heli Offshore is working to develop safety performance models that establish best practice for just about every aspect of rotorcraft operations. Yes, the safety performance model is looking at what are the previous causes of accidents in helicopters and what would be the goals that we would set ourselves as an industry to ensure that those accidents never happen again. And it's looking at what do we need to be good at? We might need to be good at detecting potential failures. We might need to be good at flight path management. We might need to be good at avoiding obstacles. And then we're really putting the challenge out there to the industry to look for innovation, new ideas, procedures, training, and to measure and judge whether those actions are having the desired effect. And to put our investment of resource and, and money together to do those things that are gonna make the greatest difference to the front line. Increasingly, aircraft manufacturers and their customers, the operators, are looking to tap so-called big data as a way of really getting to the root cause and the root problem of some of the challenges that they face. And that's a big part of Heli Offshore's mission too. It really does bring out this, the safety geek in me when you talk about big data, because I am so excited about its opportunity to completely transform the way we can look at safety. Because if you can measure what's going on day to day in the operation, you can actually look at, if you spend money to improve it, how much better do you get? And you can measure that very, very quickly. You can also use it to look for weak signals that something's starting to go wrong. And you can get into action much, much faster to prevent the accident before it can occur. And I'm really excited to announce that we've now formed a partnership with GE Digital to build a system that's gonna help us to share those those leading indicator data across our industry that's going to help us be way more proactive in safety. One of the key tools in the cockpit of a helicopter is a terrain awareness warning system. Very simply, a system that helps pilots avoid hitting potentially dangerous obstacles such as terrain. And Heli Offshore, as a lobbying group, has made it its business to press the manufacturers of, the, of this equipment to get the very latest updates into the hands of operators as soon as possible. We've done a lot of work collaboratively to test these new algorithms in the simulator to check flight data management data 
and we are convinced that this technology will save lives. So Heli Offshore's role in this is to get all of the parties working together to look at the critical path schedule for getting it into service as quickly as possible. So for me personally, this job working for Heli Offshore is the most exciting safety role I've ever had. I mean, I've actually worked as a manufacturer, I've worked in certification, I've worked um, as a regulator, and I've worked as an operator. But what's really nice here is I have no agenda except for safety. And what I find is when we bring all the parties together to collaborate, they want this. Um, they want to be able to work effectively together as an industry on important safety enhancements. And they are putting in such commitment and such dedication to make deliverables happen.